Hi, I'm Joe from Joe Practice and today is November 8th, 2012 and I'm going to be doing a little boxing lesson for you guys at home. This is more geared for you young kids who are just starting out to want to learn the right way to learn how to throw a punch and how to hit a speed bag as well as my invention. I'm going to be showing that. I'm going to start with a simple how to throw a punch. Now, yeah, the best way to throw a punch is the way you, your arms are hinged, okay? A lot of people, especially on the speed bag, and this is primary, primarily a speed bag workout, is you'll see a lot of people on uh, YouTube or on the web hitting the speed bag like that. I don't think that's right. I just don't think it's um, a good way to practice throwing a punch because that's really not how you're your arm is hinged to throw a power punch. Your arm is actually hinged to throw a power punch like so. So you would want to have your hands reversed and this is just a, a way to practice how to throw those punches and just turn those over and you'll see how easy that is. Now when you get a little bit better and you can throw your weight behind that you'll see that you'll get power from that and it's a more direct punch and your arms are in and that's what you want where you want to have them to protect yourself because obviously if you have your arms in, it's easy to block punches in front of your face and it's easy to, easy to block um, punches to your body. And it's just a, a, a good, solid place to have them and it's a natural place to hold them. So when you're practicing on the speed bag, try to keep them in reverse so when you turn them over, they're really straight and you'll find that that's an easier way to hit the speed bag. Also too, I hit it with my knuckles because when I'm throwing a punch and I'm fighting someone or protecting myself, that's how I'm punching. I'm not punching with the side of my hand. Um, and in boxing, it's not a legal punch. Now, the hammer fit, the side hammer fist, that will work when you want to redirect the back. So a lot of the times I'll throw that right hand, I'll actually hit it with the side of my hand and then I'll throw a hook. So that redirects the speed back and it makes it easier to hit it that way. Um, in boxing, what I used to do when I was um, fighting is I would throw my right hand out there and I wouldn't bring it back because now that I have it out there, I'm using it as a defensive um, weapon and then I'd come and I'd sweep the head and then throw my hook and that lands most of the time because just throwing the hook out of the blue is a hard punch to land um, and I fought for over 20 years and I've been fighting since I was a little kid so I've been, you know, in in and in around um, the fighting uh, world for a long time so I know how important it is to protect yourself because there's a lot of guys that I fought with out in Vegas and Florida and Texas and all the different places that I fought that were really really good at the time but now they're they're junk um, they just didn't take care of themselves and they took too many shots and you know they're not doing very well now um, and that's an important thing, especially if you're going to be undergoing or, or embarking in a fighting career. You just want to make sure that you don't use yourself up because you need to, you know, have a life after fighting. Um, having a family and having a business or working for someone. And you don't want to be all messed up in the head. But um, I'm just going to start and go nice and easy on the speed bag. That's the best way to learn how to throw a proper punch. Nice and easy. Just tapping it. And I'm going to do a three tap um, cadence. So... The way I'm going to be throwing it, I want to throw that punch when the bag is right about there and I want to have my hand straight. But I want to hit the bag once, have it come back twice, three times, and then I'm hitting it again. But I just want to start easy. Just want to tap that bag. Get my rhythm. Nice and almost hit it as slow as the bag can be hit. Turning the punch is over. Then you can do it two. Two punches with each hand, you can do three, but try to transfer that weight, try to almost over exaggerate the, your, the torquing of your um, midsection. So with my invention you do the same thing, it's just turning over your punches, it's working on your mechanics. You know it's moving from side to side and when you move from side to side and you transfer your weight you are moving your head and that's very important when you're doing punches you just want to be able to come from different angles and that's what's great about the speed bag is because the speed bag is the size of someone's head so it's a great tool for practicing 
But when you're hitting it with the side, you hear me. See if I'm hitting it with the side of my hand like that, like a lot of people do. I'm really close. I don't want to be close like that. I'm vulnerable. But when I'm hitting it like with my knuckles, you can see I'm far further away. You know, when I do that hammer fist and I throw my hook, it's a lot easier. But you can still throw your hooks without throwing a hammer fist. And then you can stop it like that. And that's a, a thing that takes a long time to learn how to do. And I do that a lot. I'll stop the back. You know, but that's all timing though. And that's all confidence. And you have to have that, you know, practice or the reps in to get that kind of confidence. And you only get that kind of confidence by practicing. So um, if you don't have a, a spot for a speed bag or you live in an apartment, um, see if you can uh, hook up with one of my inventions. It's called Bad Larry. You can use it for baseball. You can use it for golf and of course boxing and kicking. And uh, when I was fighting professionally in Atlantic City, I used to use this all the time. And I pretend it's someone's chin. And when you're boxing, you want to hit that chin. I mean, when you do, when you hit that chin, it really, um, it's light for you, and it makes it a lot easier fight. Anyway, when you hit the speed back, remember, knuckles, turn your shots over, move your head. That's an important lesson. Try to throw your punches from down here. When you practice, I'm talking to young people now. Um, when you're throwing your punches, turn them over, move that head side to side. You're transferring the weight. Pretend you have a pendulum between your legs. You want to make sure you have good balance. You know, you want to be able to move that head and get out of harm's way and be able to block or slip a punch and be able to retaliate. Because a good offense is the best defense. When you're boxing and someone's teeing off on you and you just slam them in the chin with a good shot, then it's over. You don't have to worry about getting hurt anymore. You've ended it with your shot. So practice those shots. Practice. You know, talking your body, transferring that weight, throwing that weight, landing those shots, and, it, and you'll, they'll bring dividends to you. To the next one, this is Joe from Joe Practice. And remember, buy an American car. It'll help the economy.